everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex. I make videos about contortion and fitness and just my life here in New York City. I'm a contortionist in training and today I am going to talk about a uh, a life update and I'm going to talk about my contortion goals for 2021 and then I'm gonna show you guys a fun little clip from a contortion showcase that I got to be a part of this past weekend starting off right off the bat the first thing I want to talk about is where I've been so I know this channel is super duper new but I did go from doing weekly uploads to bi-weekly and so I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about what's been happening there uh, so basically, some of you know that I have a horrible hip injury thing that's been going on and I roll my eyes because of how obnoxious it is. It's a labral tear as well as cartilage wear and a paralabral cyst uh, in addition to bilateral tendinosis in my glutes and my hamstrings. And so that's the fancy way of saying that everything hurts from the waist down. I basically, on top of just juggling a contortion schedule, a PT schedule, YouTube schedule, and a work schedule, just putting all of those things together, having to add on the emotional toll of sitting in pain has <laughs> been a lot you can imagine how much mental energy it takes to just constantly think like, okay, what can I do to make sure my hip doesn't hurt? All of these little things, and it seems so silly because you see me doing contortion and all of these crazy things, and to be honest, I think it's just that when I'm in the zone in contortion, I start to forget about the pain. I think it's, it's probably always there, but once my body is warmed up enough and once I'm really in that tough mental space of like concentrate, concentrate, I start to feel like I'm in more of a meditative stance and so I start to kind of forget about everything else that's happening. But once that class is over, five minutes out, my hip always starts to hurt again. And so then I start thinking like, oh my God, is this all in my head? And then I start to get annoyed at myself because I feel like I'm just making it up and this always happens. I'm always in chronic pain. But yeah, so I don't really know what's happening anymore. All I know is I've got a lot of stuff to deal with and, and I really want to do these videos and I want to make this YouTube channel a thing because I love editing and I love sharing all these things with you all but it's just become really tough to balance everything. So, moving forward, my plan is to put out videos bi-weekly. I'm currently creating a schedule of all of the stuff that I wanna do. There's some exciting content coming your way. Uh, so that's where this channel is going, but if my life gets itself together, if my hip stops to bother me, then I'm definitely gonna move back to weekly. I'm really excited. Moving on from there, my 2021 contortion goals. My goal for 2020, contortion wise, was to get my bun on my butt, or my butt on my bun, this bun, this butt, and it didn't happen, but I don't know, part of me is upset about it, and part of me is like, that's just how it goes, you know? So here's some progress photos, just put them in there. And uh, yeah, the photos all look the same. I mean, there's miniature differences here and there. But I think the cool thing is that for me on my side, it all feels very different. And I think that's something super important to note about contortion training is things are gonna look the same a lot of the time and progress isn't linear, but they're gonna start to feel different. And so even though all the chest stands look the same, uh, they definitely feel different. I have more endurance now. It takes me less tries to get my feet on the ground. It takes me less of a warm up, I guess you could say, although I still warm up for a very long time. But there's progress even though it don't look like it. Anyway, so my goal for this upcoming year is to focus on two main things. Number one is gonna be endurance because my endurance is ass. So I'm gonna work on that and my goal is to have a two minute Consistently, two minute handstand against the wall. And then another endurance goal is to have a chest stand for 90 seconds on the ground, you know, being able to breathe through it and not panic uh, with the fear of death in my eyes. So we're gonna work on that. And I'm mostly saying all of this for accountability, but also because the more you say things, the more real they become, right? Put it in the universe, just like get it out there. So I wanna do that. And what else do I wanna do? What do I want to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, freestanding handstand. I want my new freestanding handstand 
record to be 90 seconds and then I want my average to be somewhere between 45 and 60 seconds. So I think that's doable if I keep going at the training rate that I'm going at currently. And my other main thing that I want to think about when it comes to contortion is longevity because I am 27 years old and while that is by no means like old, it's also not young. You know, my body just doesn't bounce back like it used to. So that would mean a lot of hand balancing, a lot of strength, things that maybe aren't quite so bendy based, which kind of sucks because I would love to be crazy bendy, but I don't want to say it's not possible because that would be putting the I can't out into the universe. Oh my God, I put out that I can into the universe. So I think that I can be super bendy, but I also think that it is something that I realistically have to take my time with because as my body has shown me in the past, it just likes to fall apart. Hey guys, I just wanted to chime in and mention that I have a diagnosed hypermobility disorder and so my body uh, scientifically does fall apart quite fast. Uh, and I also wanted to add on that I also want to get my split press and my straddle press and a bridge press. Lots of presses. Okay, back to other me. Anyway, I'm going to take out my notes, <laughs> see what else I needed to talk about today. Oh my goodness. All right, so the last thing that I want to talk about is this performance clip that I'm about to show you all. So at the beginning of 2020, when I created my vision board, one of my goals was to go to San Francisco and to train with Serge Mbayamba. She's a world-known contortionist, performer, teacher, overall wonderful human being. And I really wanted to go to San Francisco for a few months to train with her. And unfortunately, uh, there was a pandemic. <laughs> so, couldn't go. But she did offer Zoom lessons and Zoom classes. So I was able to take her class via Zoom and she did a contortion showcase at the end of the year. And she asked me and my friend to submit a fun little training clip. So this is the training clip. It's more silliness than it is contortion, but I hope you all enjoy it. I'm not going to edit it at all. I'm just going to play it here as it was shown to the virtual audience this past weekend. So here we go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm Alexandra. Hi, I'm Link. And we're from New York City. You're supposed to say it with me, Link. <laughs> <laughs> we met doing contortion two years ago. I've been going at it for about five years. Link? I've been doing it for two years, and I am a PhD student at some school in Connecticut that rhymes with kale. And I am a gymnastics instructor. And we have loved this opportunity to train online with Serjma. I think quarantine's been difficult on all of us, and we're very grateful for the fact that we've been able to train with Serjma, so here's what we have. Enjoy our contortion clips and our contortion games from these past few months. <laughs> Why <laughs> is three? I ask you two, no? Because <laughs> it was scary, so I put another one. <laughs> That's nothing. No three things. Oh. oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I can't talk like this. How do you feel about the selection? Uh, not too great. I mean, I'm so hopeful. I think I'm more hopeful in this chest stand than I am with the selection. I don't know if I'm walking forward or backwards. <laughs> Yeah, you're going forward. Yeah. <laughs> you were going forward. You're in? Yeah. You're in a double stag, right? It's a celebration of our training. Even though we're dealing so many issues and problems, I'm so proud of you guys. This was really one of my highlights of this summer. I'm really happy of my students' work, how we connected. It gives us so much good energy. There's so many improvements. It was just a beautiful experience. So that's why I want to do it more celebration.
So, I hope you guys enjoyed those shenanigans. And uh, just for my little outro here, I wanna say I hope you all had a happy holidays. Hope you have a great new year. Unless I don't upload this until like January 3rd or something. Then I, I, what day is it? Um, so I hope you guys had a happy holidays. Hope you had a great new year. And I don't know, I'm excited for all of uh, the stuff that I'm gonna be doing this year. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being a pal. Thanks for the support and the love. Let's do this thing. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe.